morning everybody. Back out in the hills today. Um, not going so far, just out for a day hike. Heading up to Mialn and Tarmacan, uh, just next to Ben Lawyers. So we're just heading off now. It's quite windy at the moment. A uh, bit of cloud at the summit, but hopefully that will clear. Um, so we're just on the path here, just at the sign, and we're just heading off, as I say. And we'll see how things go. So I'll bring you back later on, once we're further into the hike. It's quite chilly and a fresh breeze this morning and uh, definitely a feel of autumn about. Just looking around there back to where we started at the car park and the, the Ben Glass and Ben Lawyers there with the cloud and then coming further around you see Loch Tay. So the last time I was up this mountain was actually 29 years ago which is quite a shock when I discovered that last night. We only actually went to the Monroe summit that uh, previous ascent so this will be the first time, hopefully, that we'll get along the whole bridge. I think every time we've come back up to the area, we've always ended up just going for Ben Lawyers and Ben Glass. So, from my memory, I don't remember a path anywhere near as good as this. So, we're making good progress, just taking our time getting up. And uh, still quite windy, but at least it's keeping the midges away. So that's us now on the ridge. The wind's actually dropped, which is great. And its cloud does seem to be lifting above the tops, so that's another good sign. You've got a good view behind, you can see over towards Ben Moore, Stabinian, down towards Kalin, Loch Tay, and also down to Ben Moore and so not Ben Moore, Ben Vorlich and Stuka Groin. So great views to the south. Definitely is more cloud to the north. But we'll keep going, we're making good progress and uh, we'll bring you back as we're further up.
We were very lucky to get the best part of the day from this summit with great views all around. It showed us the rest of the walk we had ahead and also the views extended 360 degrees. It was still windy so we didn't hang around and were quickly on the move again. The sun was still shining when we got to the second top with an excellent ridge from the summit. There were great views along the ridge to the third and fourth peaks and also back to the first top as well. Windy, but the wind's dropping a little bit at the moment, so able to do a bit to camera. We've just coming along the ridge now from the second top, uh, heading over towards the third one. Um, it's a really nice ridge, good path. Could be difficult in the winter though, so you need to make sure you're taking precautions if you're up in the snow. And that's the wind back, so I'll just stop talking again, so you'll not hear it. there to the second top. It is quite a tricky uh, rocky exposed scramble down that section of rock in the middle but I now notice that there's a bypass path that you can take so that's worth considering. And looking down south towards Loch Tay, Cullin, Ben Morley, Stukacroy. Summit of number three, and looking down again to Glynn, across to number four, and then boards to Benin and Nine, round with Ben Aim, through it's now in the cloud, and then coming round looking up towards Glen Coe, way over towards Ben Devis. 
Shores. Descending from the third top of Mjolnir and Tarmacan. One more to go. Yes, because they have the four tops of the Tarmacan. summit of the fourth top we got a great view back to the third and second tops you were looking down across Loch Tay towards Colin. you could see Stuka Croyne, Ben Vorley across to Benmore and Stabinian which were still clear out to the far west though uh, Kruachan we noticed had gone into the cloud and uh, the main thing was it was staying dry that's us heading down now from the fourth top, we've returned to the Bialik between third and fourth top and we're just uh, working our way down so we can now see the road that goes up to the old quarry so it'll just be a case of joining that and then following it back to the car park so it'll be quite straightforward actually it's really easy coming back from the Bialich um, a few boggy bits but nothing to worry about and We'll see how long this takes, probably over an hour, I think, just to get back along the track. So that's us been going for about six hours just to get back to the car. Been a great walk this over the four tops of Me Allen and Tarmacan. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you can keep up to date with all the future adventures of Scottish Climber. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all the details will be on the screen. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next adventure.